Hey guys, this is Tash, the Starcross Stitcher. Today is Tuesday, Mania the 30th, and the whip I had picked up for today is this one. This is Boreas by Golden Kite. The artwork is, let me pull this out because it's reflecting badly. The artwork is by John William Waterhouse. This is probably my favourite painting of all time. I love this. I love it so much. Um, it's beautiful. And I started this cross stitch a really long time ago, probably in 2007. When I started a lot of whips in 2007, because that's when I used to stitch. And I started pretty much nothing between 2007 and 2017. <laughs> um, anyway, so this is Boreas. The problem I have with this whip is that I can't actually find it. I have the threads, I have the chart here, I don't have the piece of fabric. I have a feeling it might be at my mum's house. Um, I also have, but we've looked there and I can't find it. I've looked everywhere here. I also have another feeling that it may have been thrown away. Um, what happened was I moved from my house in Sydney and I had to downsize everything and move back in with my parents for a couple of years and a lot of stuff went into storage and then a lot of that stuff in storage got thrown away. So I have a feeling it may no longer exist, which is a big bummer. It's a big bummer. Um, this is a golden kite pattern. It's not a, such a huge bummer, I'll tell you why. Because golden kite patterns are pretty complicated. They've got solid colours. That's about 75 solid colours. But they also have blended colours. <laughs> and as you can see, all of these, all of these, and all of these are blended. Um, and there's around 120 blended colours, 75 solid colours, so it's pretty crazy. Um, luckily the charts are nice and big, Golden Kite. I'm showing you this, I know I shouldn't, but um, I doubt you'll ever. You can do like one page with a tree here if you want, and like a little bush here. So there you go. Feel free to copy this pattern. Um, yeah, so I've marked off here what I've done, but when I looked at my blog, this is my blog, um, it actually shows that I've done the whole top row of the first page and none of the second row. So I am not sure what's happened here between... I, I have a feeling I must have stitched this and then maybe restarted and stitched this. Um, I remember I was doing it on 18 count Ada, like off-white or something. Um, and I don't know what happened. I don't know where it is. This is just such a such a mess. I don't know what's, what's going on. <laughs> so since I can't work on her today, I thought maybe I should restart her, maybe I should. I also have the Heaven and Earth Designs copy of this, which would be a lot simpler. Definitely a lot simpler to work on. God, isn't she beautiful? She's so gorgeous. I love her. Um, but I can't decide what to do. I don't have a good enough... Uh, I do have some fabric, actually, that I could use. Anyway, I'm not going to. I'm just going to put her aside and call her a UFO for now because I don't even have her, so I can't really work on her. And I'm going to make a new start. So my new start for today is Regal Peacocks by Teresa Wensler. Uh, this chart is found in Just Cross Stitch... What, ep what episode? What volume? Okay, it doesn't even say what volume. Uh... 1987 maybe let's see there we go january february 1989 there you go volume six number five so if you're looking for this chart because it's really pretty right um it's in this one and it's so old that it, i think it was before we really had a lot of um metallic threads and blending filaments because wouldn't you think that Teresa wensler would have chock would have made this chock full of blending filament and so on i thought about putting some blending filament in um, you know, just combining it with some of the colours to just give it a little bit of sparkle. But I've decided not to do that. Instead, I've done it on opalescent. This is um, 36 count opalescent even weave of some kind. I don't know where I got this. Just made a small start. As you can see, it's just a little bit right in the middle of the heart there. Um, yeah, so this is my start for today. I was very tempted to start the gigantic Peacock Tapestry by Teresa Wensler. I might start with this one. <laughs> I didn't want to do another gigantic start today. That was the problem. I have the kit for the Peacock Tapestry and I have been thinking about it constantly. Um, but I restrained myself and just started the small one. So this is my start for today. Don't know what I'll do about Boreas. I may restart her from Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, because it'll be much easier to do. And it's only a small one really. 300 by 422. 
Um, but this will be something for future me to decide. Not today. Not today. And besides, I'm not supposed to be starting any more. I haven't any more full coverage pieces this year. That was my promise to myself at the beginning of the year. I've now got like about 12 that I want to start next year. I will have to show some restraint. All right. At Regal Peacocks. That's it for today, guys. I will see you tomorrow for my last start. It's a big one and I'm excited about it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.